Hey guys, it's Kali and today we are starting a entirely new project. So if you guys haven't seen my past videos, I recently finished making a grown up Hilda costume from or after the five year time skip costume of Hilda from Fire Emblem Three Houses. After this next project, we will be taking a long, long break from Fire Emblem Three Houses cosplays. But next up, I will be working on a Edelgard cosplay from <laughs> Fire Emblem Three Houses after the time skip. Uh, Edelgard and Hilda were my two favorite characters. I got 10 yards of muslin. So I'll kind of explain to you guys this project a bit more and show you guys some of the images, some of my inspiration and such before getting started. So I'm using these reference images. Uh, I don't know who the artist is, but I'm really, really grateful to them because although I've always wanted to learn to draw, I've never had the time to learn to draw. So I am super grateful that they drew out these angles of Edelgard's outfit because I honestly couldn't do it without them. I will be 3D printing a bunch of these details and then I plan to sew the rest. Uh, I did find a pre-made pattern online, but my problem is I don't like digital patterns much because A, I don't own a printer, um, B, I don't want to tape all the pieces together, and C, I just kind of like draping, so I want to get better at it because I would love to eventually make patterns for you guys. The boys are fighting. You guys good? Anyways, so I have this muslin and we are going to start by doing some draping. Uh, I have a clear mannequin on the other side behind me actually, it's not over there. I thought it was. So tonight where I'm leaving off with this is, I will show you guys. So I made, I draped out the front and the back. I showed you guys, I tried it on. Um, it fits as it should. And it's kind of hard to see in a lot of the photos. I have a page that I will link in the description where I'm actually working on, well, where I'm putting all the reference photos that I'm following and such. But she actually has puffy sleeves underneath the tape. <laughs> so I'm working on the puffy sleeves and my stopping point tonight is that this sleeve actually isn't long enough. You guys can see here. Yeah, I'm working on that part. And the reason why the sleeve isn't the length of my arm, although I actually almost length my arm, it's because we're going to also add some tension there to create that poof effect. And then that's gonna be sewn into the bottom arm part. Anyway, so I'm gonna continue this tomorrow, I'm trying to get to bed on time for work in the morning. <laughs> So I think 
it's time to get organized with this. I just finished draping a bunch of pieces, the whole top that you guys just saw. And then I was like, hmm, what's next? And I think I gotta go about this more methodically. There are a lot of pieces here. There's the parts I want to 3D print too. I'm still getting the 3D printer working. <laughs> I just have a lot of time. Definitely this weekend though. Weekend starts tomorrow, so definitely. But for now, I think I'm gonna continue draping all the pieces and make a list of everything I need to drape in what order. What was I saying? I'm so tired, guys. I'm so sorry. It is the end of the work week and my brain, I do math all day, my brain is fried. Oh, yeah. And then I'm gonna kind of like lay out everything I need and um, figure out how much fabric I need from there. And then hopefully I go shopping Saturday. I set aside a lot of money to do so. Yeah. patterns I'm using for this. I'm using this for the long gloves, which is J right here, or right there. <laughs> uh, and then I'm using, for the underskirt kind of thing, I'm using this skirt. I'm draping the overskirt. And then for the cape, I'm just going to use one of these bases and then drape on everything else. massive pattern piece. Oh my gosh, I mean look at it in comparison to Klaus. <laughs> All of the pattern pieces are cut. I just need to... Yeah? What's up? <laughs> Come here. I just tried to talk to the camera for a minute anyways, so now I'm going to figure out how much fabric I need and then in the morning I'm going to try to get to Joanne's right when it opens because I plan to buy a lot of fabric and I don't plan to be that, that lady holding up the line for a whole hour for everybody else. <laughs> so I try to get there really early. Um, my weekends are like the only time I could do it though, so <laughs> sticks. I'm going to basically lay out all my pattern pieces that use the red fabric see how much like yardage of fabric I'll need. So I'm gonna lay out my pattern pieces that will all go with like the red fabric and then I'm gonna like measure them out and figure out how much red fabric I need and then I'll do the same thing with whatever lining I need and all of that. Right. Also I got this light so now when I'm vlogging at night which I usually do because I have a nine to five. <laughs> you guys can actually see like what's going on here now. Look how cute he is, playing with a little string. I'm looking at a very expensive trip tomorrow. So I'm gonna see what I already have lying around and then go from there. I basically um, I studied computer science and I was like, wow, after college, I'm never gonna use math again. Like I'm not gonna look at it. But here I am. <laughs> so what I did is I took all the pieces, laid them out, and I measured like how much room they would take on a piece of fabric. Um, like I laid them out oh, as if I was laying them on the fabric. That makes sense. I can make a tutorial on this because this is actually pretty useful to like figure out what you actually need and don't need. Um, measured it in inches and then I divided it by 36 um, for that particular kind of fabric I'd be needing and I said this is how many yards I'll be needing. Oh my god and because Christmas is in a couple months there's so much red fabric to choose from. Okay so I don't know if this will make a ton of sense. Joann's near me is like a mom's Joann's so they have like a ton of quilting supplies and like and like stuff to make your kids pajama pants and like they have like all the like Batman fabrics and like Spider-Man fabrics and you know what I mean by that like things that kids would really enjoy but they don't have like a ton when it comes to things that aren't like I don't know kid centered 
Um, the Joann's that I used to go to back in New York had a lot more stuff for like non-children <laughs> or people that, I don't know, weren't making stuff for children. Literally the only thing I could find that I really needed was this, um, the red sportswear fabric, which is, I mean, bitten. That's not nice. Which is honestly the most important, um, considering I have a lot of the other supplies I need. So with the rest of the white lining fabric for the cape, I ordered it on the app. I took a photo of the fabric I needed. They had like two yards in the store and I need like six yards. I love the attention. Yeah, attention. Here we go. Oh my god, it's so heavy. The polyester rayon twill blend. Um, so I could have gone with a really shimmery satin material, but I'd rather not because I'm kind of thinking, right, like Empress, like also fights a bit, right? Like she's not, it's, it can't look delicate. Like I want it to look heavier duty. And I used that type of material on like my first Hilda costume that I made. And I absolutely love that material. So I always go to the sportswear section at Joann's. Sorry, Klaus is trying to knit my ankle. So I just went to go like do my laundry and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have red fabric. I should totally pre-wash it, especially because this fabric will be part of the cape. Um, I don't want to, there's white on the inside, red on the outside. It's going to be sewn together. So I don't want when I sweat or when anything happens for that red to basically bleed everywhere. It's drying out after pre-wash. Okay, so I just got back to boom dance, so I'm kind of a mess, but the box with the rest of my fabric came in from Joann's, so, so this is going to be nice. I think, I know I've been sewing for a while when I look at my desk and it looks like scissors, 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 scissors. I'm going to work on the other sleeve to my Edelgard cosplay. I think I took a video of it last night. Um, and it's snowing out. Okay, so I have the shirt fitting perfect now. It took a lot of like refitting. I brought in the tops of the shoulders a little bit because I just, I thought they were like hanging a little bit low. Like, you know, the seam of this sleeve is like right here. And they were hanging about right there so i brought them up to like right there <laughs> really weird explanation but i'm gonna work on the little peplum part at the bottom of her shirt she has some pleating and like this piece and i'm gonna sew that on klaus literally heard the camera come out and he's like hello here i am world
Alright, so this will be the end of part one to making my Edelgard cosplay. So I'm actually taking a small break from making this one for a couple of weeks because I'm not going to be wearing this one to Anime New York City and Anime New York City is in two weeks. <laughs> so obviously I'd like to allocate my time to a different one. Klaus, Klaus, get out of my pins. Anyway, so initially I was, I'm making this Edelgard cosplay for cosplay competitions more so, so it's going to be a really detailed piece with a lot of work into it. And as you can imagine, that's a lot of time being put into it as well. And I found out the Anime New York City cosplay contest, I just didn't have enough photos and stuff, so yeah, that's not gonna be happening. So I'm gonna be saving this one for a future time, but I still plan to get right back to it after Anime New York City. Instead, I will be Hopefully next week, don't hold me to it, but I believe all in one week or one and a half weeks I can finish this next costume which is going to be Eileen Lauren, cannot pronounce that last name, but here's a photo of her. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of the like, I'm a villainess and I got dropped into this world type, type um, arc animes. Like I was huge into my next life as villainess, I totally need to redo Katarina sometime. So you guys can look forward to that video and that should be the costume from start to finish and I know there's no cosplays being sold of it right now besides the one on easy cosplay so I hope maybe that'll actually help some of you too because I know I have some Otome and female protagonist fans in, in here uh, so please look forward to that next week hopefully don't hold me to it and I will see you continuing the Edelgard cosplay in part two Thank you so much for watching, you guys are the best.